I've met some extraordinary friends here. Um, a young woman who hears from Jesus all the time. And uh, he had a book, he had to buy a book called the Urantia book, which was a, a detailed accounting of his journey. A lot of incredible information. And um, I was told that she and I were sisters. And uh, anyway, it's just been incredible. So lots of beautiful people. Okay. Hey, Marianne. Hi, York. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Lesson 344. Today I learn the law of love, that what I give my brother is my gift to me. This is your law, my father, and not my own. I have not understood what giving means and thought to save what I desired for myself alone. And as I looked upon the treasure that I thought I had, I found an empty place where nothing ever was or is or will be. Who can share a dream and what can an illusion offer me? Yet he whom I forgive will give me gifts beyond the worth of anything on earth. Let my forgiven brothers fill my store with heaven's treasures which alone are real. Thus is the law of love fulfilled, and thus your son arises and returns to you. How near are we to one another as we go to God? How near is he to us? How close the ending of the dream of sin and the redemption of the Son of God. So beautiful. Lesson 344. Today I learned the law of love, that what I give my brother is my gift to me. Bring our beloved Magdalene through. Mm. Mm. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, when you meet people through your journey, you are indeed meeting and greeting aspects of self. But understand that in this world of reflection, there is a tendency because of the constructs of the egoic mind to forget that what you give and what you grant to another is indeed given back to self. Understand, beloveds, that when you judge another, judgment is given back. When you are kind to another, kindness is given back. It is all reflective. So in your journey today, find someone who you consider to be troubled. Approach them and offer them your love. See what comes back to you in return. And the kindness that you can grant is granted to self. The love that you can grant is granted to self. The joy, the divinity that you can grant to another by recognizing and seeing the divinity within them is granted unto you, or it is indeed reflected in that manner. If you can allow yourself to pause where you would have reacted, if you can allow yourself to say, ah, there might be something in this circumstance that is for me to learn. This person has been placed in front of me by the creator. What am I to find within them to love? And then what is it that I can look and love about myself? Love that there were many who 
did not understand my path, did not understand my place. As I walked with Yeshua, they were afraid. And all that there was ever for me to do was to love them with all of my heart, even without their levels of understanding of my journey, of who I truly was. There has been much that has been spoken that has not been in alignment with what exactly occurred. And indeed, there has been a need for much of the information to have remained. And there will be a day, beloveds, when the record will be set straight. And all that needs to be known and all that needs to be understood is that love is what has prevailed. Love is what it is that prevails in each and every circumstance, in each and every situation. So look upon that which you have judged and say, allow me to show you the transformation of love. Forgive yourself for the place where you have said, ah, this person is something other than worthy of my love. For truly beloveds, all are worthy of your love. That is the truest and dearest expression of who you are in the universe. Whatever you give to another, whatever you grant to another, whenever you can see kindness in someone's eyes, whenever you can see beauty within them, whenever you can forgive the judgments that you have made, or you wanted and needed and expected them to be, there you find beauty, there you find peace, there you find happiness, there you find joy. Hmm. You will come to realize that you are indeed the creator of how you respond and react to all of the circumstances within your existence. That is what is indeed within your control. And you have been raised in a society that has let you believe otherwise. Truly, beloveds, I am here to tell you as a messenger that only love is real and it is yours for the taking. So go with my blessings, beloveds, today. When you come to another, look upon them. Look for their light and indeed you will find it. And beloveds, look for your own and indeed you shall find it. Blessings to you, precious and beloved brothers and sisters. I will speak with you again. <sighs> Thanks, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow.